Now, select the trading port icon on the review panel. With this selected, click on the Change Building Type button at the bottom of the screen. Then, pick the Dockyard Building icon to convert the tab. With the Dockyard completed, we can defend our seas against the Sardinians and other aggressors. To start recruiting your fleet, select Genoa and then the Naval Recruitment tab from within the review panel. Do not forget to click the Enter. Do not forget to click the Enter. Sea trade is vital. The Sardinians have a trade route nearby and it would be a good idea to indulge in a little piracy. Select your other ship and right click on the trade route. Once the ship is in position, it will automatically start its pirating activities. This is indicated by the flipping of the ship's flag for the pirate and French flag. With the trade route under power control, the Sardinians will struggle to make money from it. Do not forget to click the end turn button once you... In his first action, Napoleon proved that he was a more than capable soldier. He was able to look battle in the face, unblinking and undaunted. He took this bravery and returned to Corsica, the island home that he had left so long ago. To blockade a port, Simply select one of your ships and then right-click on the port you want to blockade. Once the ship reaches the port, it will automatically... Do not forget to click the end turn button once you have finished everything you need to do this turn. Select the Diplomatic Relations button and then select Sardinia from the list of nations on the Diplomacy panel. Open negotiation with them and choose the Peace Treaty option. Finally, select the Send Proposal button and you have successfully made peace with Sardinia. The waters along our southern coast will be safe again. Lancer des ordres. Toulon, 1793. Napoleon was given his chance and control of the artillery after the previous commander was injured. Napoleon's attention to detail and confidence made quite an impression on his superiors and they sang his praises to Paris. His reputation was being made. This is our nation's secret weapon, the spy. Before you send your army to besiege Toulon, a spy can sabotage buildings, assassinate generals, or discover vital information about the enemy. Spies and other agents can be found easily using Hello. the list button at the bottom of the screen. The panel will show you useful information about your agents, your armed forces, and your regions. To infiltrate a city, select your spy, and then right select the infiltrate option. Observe. If the spy has enough move, once the spy enters the city, you will see him in the agent tab of the review panel. From here, you will be able to carry out various tasks from the next turn onwards including assassinations and sabotaging enemy buildings. In light of the information from your spy, 
it would be wise to increase your army in size and strength. Make sure you have recruited cannons and line infantry from Paris before you attack the city. To attack the city of Toulon, select your army or armies and then right click on the city. du campement With the assassination button selected, you will now be shown a list of potential targets, along with the chances of success for each assassination. Select the target to carry out the assassination attempt. The pre-battle panel has vital information in determining how to attack or defend against your enemy. Apart from showing you the troops, which each army contains and their size, it also shows you how likely you are to win or lose, indicated by the colored bar at the center of the panel. At the bottom of the panel, you will notice various attacking options. These buttons allow you to either continue or break a siege on your enemy's stronghold, attack the enemy by playing or by auto-resolving the battle, or finally, demanding that your enemy surrenders. Hailed as a hero, Napoleon had his first taste of fame and loved it. With the power of the military, he could achieve anything. That much was abundantly clear to the young and ambitious officer. All he needed was one chance to build his power base and seize control of the nation he had so admired. He would not have long to wait. As the British warships fled the harbor, so did Napoleon's last doubts in his abilities. He had stepped from the shadows to take command and led his soldiers to victory. At 24, Napoleon was a brigadier general of artillery. Now, he wanted an army. The years of waiting were almost over. <laughs> 